Hi again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word. Today we're in the Old Testament book of Isaiah, chapter 25, verse 9. And Isaiah the prophet brings God's message to the people and to us and says, In that day the people will proclaim, This is our God. We trusted in him and he saved us. This is the Lord in whom we trusted. Let us rejoice in the salvation he brings. This is our God. We trusted him and he saved us. You know, yesterday was uh, Thanksgiving in the United States, and that was, you know, the time where we not only eat too much, but we also are encouraged to be thankful, to look back with gratitude over this last year and the blessings that we've received. One of those key blessings that we should every day be grateful for is that God is our Savior. That we trust him and he saves us. And our salvation gives us hope in no matter what we're facing. A hope and a satisfaction in God. Because he is the one who provides. Do you have that trust in God? Have you put your trust in him and received the salvation that he offers to us? Every single person needs to come to a place where he says, am I going to put my trust in God or am I going to continue to just put my trust in myself or my circumstances or my job or my family member or the friend or whatever that is? The only place of salvation, the only place of guaranteed hope that continues and is sustained is when we put our complete trust in God. Because then he can prove himself to be the one who saves us. Choose to trust in God. Trusting in God is simply about saying, I can't do it, God. I need you. And it's as simple as ABC. A, admitting that you can't do it and saying, I need to come to somebody bigger than myself, someone who can meet my needs, who can bring me hope, the person who can help me to overcome whatever I'm facing. And then the B is to believe that that hope comes through Jesus and that through Jesus' death and resurrection, we can experience salvation, forgiveness, new life, a new beginning, and that God makes that pathway open for us. And then the C is to commit. Say, I am committing, I'm choosing to follow you, Jesus, to receive your grace and to follow you as my boss, the one calling the shots, the one that I follow and you lead the way. When we do that, then we can experience the salvation. As we trust in him, that's when we experience God's blessing of salvation. Let's pray. Jesus, I thank you for this love that you offer to us freely. And God, I ask that every person who is listening or watching me will choose to take those ABC steps and to open themselves up to trusting you in a new way so that they could receive the salvation and the hope that you provide for us. We thank you and we praise you that this is a gift and that when we trust you, we'll experience our, your salvation for us. That's us in Jesus' name. Amen. So once again, Isaiah 25, 9 says, in, this, in that day, the people will proclaim, this is our God. We trusted in him and he saved us. This is the Lord in whom we trusted. Let us rejoice in the salvation he brings. Let's rejoice in that salvation. I pray that you experience that for yourself too. God bless and have a great day.